Hello and welcome to this next amazing episode of How to Play Your Handpan. Uh, if you're up to date on the lessons, you will be able to play an alternate right-left uh, pattern and also be able to move one of your hands over back and forth on another note. Now in this episode, what we'll be doing is kind of this triangle technique. So you will actually be taking one of your hands and then preferably if you're uh, skilled enough to take your uh, less good hand, in my case my left, and uh, be able to play kind of a triangle pattern as you saw in this intro. So what that looks like is you basically pick a triangle and this is actually what goes on in my head. Uh, it is 2017 so uh, with the help of some uh, modern technology you actually pick two tone fields, well three total, and then kind of go back and forth. And this is actually what goes on in my head. This is how I think about it. If it helps you, good. So I would pick maybe these three or these three, and then pick these as the alternates for one of your hands to go back and forth. Now this is only your left, and then we'll take the amazing technology out of here. So. See, it's still alternating left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And you can pick basically any three notes that you want. Uh, it also sounds pretty good if you treat the ding and this flat bar next to the ding separately, as you also saw. So let's go through a couple of um, patterns that sound good on this uh, hand pan, for example. So maybe. So let's start with your right hand because that's, uh, for most people, that's easier. So let's say I pick this, this, and this, and keep your left hand here. So it would sound something like left, right, actually that was wrong, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's all it is. And then you can pick up the speed as you want and then it'll have a very kind of uh, mesmerizing, meditative kind of uh, pulsating uh, theme to it. And then you can put this anywhere. So we go again. Again, keeping with the right, left, right, left, that's all you need to know. And then you can think about, as kind of a progression, take one strand of that triangle that we did and then move that over, that'll give you kind of this progressive feeling. So you go. And then go to the new note. And then you can pick another new note. And you can also choose to as this progression I just explained, you can choose to progress your left hand to a higher or a lower note. So you would start with... And then I'm going to change my left hand's position after 4, 8, or 16 bars. sound as good as it does uh, sometimes like I didn't like this last pattern for example I like these other two and then you can experiment uh, what you also saw in the intro is that you can kind of treat one two and three these three zones as kind of your alternating back and forth so you would go here 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 and then go back and forth like this so that would look something like this right. So change this around and say, and then switch back. Or you can change then your right hand's direction. So instead of this kind of triangle, which is actually in a line right now, you can go. This is actually 
actually good because uh, you can you only concentrate on your dominant hand. That's what's going to give you your first uh, kind of new experience. And all you have to do with your left hand is just keep a constant left, 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 left. That's all you're going to be doing. So uh, that's it, really. You can choose any tone field you want. See what you know sounds good on your handpan. Uh, not all of them will sound good. Um, and there you go. So if you found this useful, you can find a like button over there somewhere. Uh, and also please uh, hit subscribe so you can get up to date uh, on the new videos as they come out. So thank you for watching.